So I thought I'd make a video of my vacuum cleaner collection since I've moved, so let's get started. So here's my Phantom Cyclone XT. I got this from a vacuum friend of mine, and I've had the motor rebuilt in it. Below that's a Hoover Hush Tone commercial vacuum. It's uh, kind of a cheat knockoff of a Henry. And I got that for a friend of mine. I'll be giving it to him soon. Here's a 10 amp Phantom Fury. I got this from another vacuum collector. Uh, the motor's been rebuilt, new bearings, and it runs very nicely. This is a Hoover CH50000 that I got. New old stock on Facebook Marketplace. This I might keep or sell to a friend. I'm not exactly sure yet, but it's an old style convertible commercial machine. It was made by TTI, but it's still the Hoover convertible sign, so I thought that was neat. This is a Ricard 8900 series, brand new old stock. I got it from a vacuum collector friend of mine who had a whole pallet of these he was selling. The Ricard 8900 series, if you don't know, was a very heavy duty upright vacuum with a dual stage motor and it was a very good vacuum, one of the best vacuums uh, Tacone ever made and they stopped making it. So hence is the reason why I have it. This is a new old stock 11 amp Phantom. It's much like this one right here, except that it's all black. Um, and it has everything with it. I was the first one to open it uh, up it from the box. It was sold originally at Electric Avenue, which was kind of like a subsidiary of Montgomery Ward. And uh, yeah, it's been turned on once, but it's never been vacuumed with. Next to it is a Eureka Whirlwind. I got this from a vacuum shop. I may or may not sell this. This was made to compete with Phantoms and vacuum dealers. They didn't sell well because of the whirlwind dust cup design, which clogged almost instantly, which is kind of a shame because the machine itself is pretty powerful. It has a two-stage motor, but that cyclone design kind of ruined it. This is a Phantom Thunder. This is the first vacuum I've ever got from my collection. I've replaced so many parts on that machine that it's almost not even the same vacuum anymore, but it still runs. It does need to be serviced, but um, at some point I'll get to that. This is an 11 amp Phantom. I bought this on Craigslist many years ago from the original owner. It wasn't used a whole lot. Um, I have the receipt. He bought it through the 1-800 number that you could order these off of. He also had the attachments in the manual, so that was nice. This is a Kenmore Destiny Plus. Uh, this came off of eBay many years ago. It was a 15th birthday present for me from my grandmother. I have this Destiny Plus because my dad bought one at Sears when I was born in 1998. And I haven't done much to it other than cleaning it up a little bit and replacing the HEPA filter and belt when needed. This is a Kirby Convac. This is probably going to be going to a vacuum collector friend of mine. These Kirby's were sold in vacuum shops. Kirby distributors didn't like that, so they pulled this off the market. It was made around the time uh, Kirby Heritage models were out, the one with the orange bag. Um, and that's a small platform, I guess, which is kind of unusual because by that time, Kirby, for the most part, gone away from the smaller head design, but they brought it back for these machines. Behind it, it's an Amway Clear Track. I got that off of Craigslist. I've replaced a couple of the parts. I bought it from the son of the original owner who loved the machine. Um, she just unfortunately um, was too sick to use it anymore. Um, and it's a little rough. The handle release is worn and so is the height adjustment, but the vacuum still runs pretty strong. Um, so it is nice to use every once in a while. Behind that's a Kenmore Upright. That was my grandmother's vacuum, one of my grandmother's. Um, she used it for a very short period of time, so it's been kept in really good shape, but I did have to replace the cord because of one of the prongs came off. This is a Hoover Advantage. This vacuum was made to be sold in Hoover service centers. It's kind of obscure because I guess they just didn't sell a lot of them and you could only buy them exclusively in those stores. Um, it's been rebuilt, uh, and it does work very well. 
I'm not the biggest fan of this style convertible design. I like the metal based ones better, but still to have a fully surfaced tuber is a very nice thing to have. Up here is a Eureka Superlight. I got that when I was nine years old at Walmart and I bought it not to collect, but to actually use. So I didn't really consider that part of my collection. Um, you know, and still I started actually collecting them since I didn't buy it for that purpose. I don't use it much anymore just because I don't want any of the parts on it to break. This is a TriStar DXL that I got new in stock from a vacuum collector friend of mine, or new old stock, I should say. And um, it was the last of the old style interstate design TriStars before they kind of had a, like a deal with um, what, what would become Eris, but I believe at that point it was still Electrolux. So this still has the old metal wands, not the pl clunky plastic wands like the newer ones have. So these are my three Kenmore canisters. This red one was one of my grandmother's. She bought it brand new in 2004 at Sears. It's not a progressive. It doesn't say progressive on it. By this time, the higher end model that had the onboard Power May Jr. was out. So this became the middle of the line model. And I still have all the paperwork for it. This is a Kenmore Magic Cord canister. I got it from my uncle who saved it out of the landfill for me. And this vacuum's had a ton of work. I replaced the hose with a new old stock plastic hose that I found at a thrift store. Um, that These hoses don't crack like the old vinyl ones do, so that was nice. I got a full set of tools for it. I repainted the base, the metal base of the canister body um, since it has surface rust. Um, I had the motor serviced, had the cord reel replaced, and I found the original style power head, this blue one that would have gone with this machine. This Kenmore I got from Goodwill a couple of months ago. It's a whisper tone that was made in 1999. I bought it originally to resell, but I saw how good of a shape it was in. And it's hard to find these in good shape because they were used and abused. And this machine still has the old style Antec motor in it before they went to the Panasonic motors. So it sounds a little bit different. Um, full set of tools. The power head though does not have replaceable brush strips or beater bars like the earlier Whisper Tones have. So they kind of cheapened it out a little bit. Um, there was almost no dust in the motor housing. So that indicated to me that it wasn't used a whole lot because these vacuums tend to let a lot of dust through. So it was a nice find for only $5. Going down the line, this is a Mila Unique. I got this on Craigslist for only $85. And the reason why I got it so cheap is that this clip was missing on the wand. Luckily, I was able to source one for cheap. So I have very little invested in it and it works great. I also had the power head serviced by a friend of mine. So it's a very nice quiet vacuum to use. This Filter Queen Majestic 95X, um, you can see those are not the original tools. I just kind of pulled tools off of various Filter Queens that I've come across over the years. I got this from a friend of mine. <clears throat> I use it mainly as a shop vac to clean out other vacuums, but I do occasionally use it as an actual vacuum. And it's a nice vacuum to use as a shop vac just because it filters well, and it really does not lose power till it's almost completely full, so... And I did replace the brush roll with a CWP brush roll, so it actually grooms a little bit better. And I did also replace the post motor filter with a cotton filter, which does let more air through, so it's a little bit louder as a result. But um, it had to be done. It's a filter. It needs to be replaced periodically. Um, this is a Phantom Lightning. I got this from my grandmother. She got this for me for my 13th birthday. This was on eBay. And... It's complete except for the storage step, which at this point I might not ever find because they're hard to find. Uh, the They broke. The people who bought them, most of the time they broke, and most people just didn't buy them at all. Um, so other than that, I have everything else. I have a brand new floor tool and a brand new mini power head for it. I have an extra HEPA filter for it, and all the onboard tools are there.
I also have the manual and the video for it. I don't use it a lot just because I don't want it to break. Um, I did have to have the switch fixed. There was a short in the switch um, early on when I had the machine, but I did get that fixed. Last but not least, this lovely Rainbow Performance Edition um, SE. And I have this because I wanted a vacuum that would pick up wet spills if need be. And I did ironically have to use it for that a couple of weeks ago. Um, I do have the basin on it just because I did let it completely dry so that it won't rust anything out. So I think it's okay to keep it on there now that I let that basin completely dry out. But um, I wanted this particular model because I wanted an older rainbow. I didn't care about having a HEP filter because I don't have that that much of a sensitivity to dust and I'm not picking up a lot of fine particulate with it. If I need to do that, I'd use another machine. Um, this has a slightly beefier motor than the earlier rainbows do, so it does have a little bit more power, plus it has the larger power head over the rectangular style power heads that were the first rainbow design power heads, which were quite underpowered. So, yeah. And I do have another uh, this Hoover floor mate over here that I use to clean the floor. I got this from a friend of mine at his vacuum store. It's like new. It was only used a couple times and I use it every couple of weeks to clean all the tile with. So that is my collection and I, I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if there's any machines that you've seen that you'd like to know more about. Thanks.